Good morning. Welcome to this weekly vlog where I try out gel, peel off face cream. Kind of peel off face cream? Well, let me show you what I got this week. Got this lovely package from Nail Zotic with some gels in it. Okay, but particularly the peel off face So tonight I'm going to paint my nails and do a manicure with this peel off face coat. And you're going to come along with me every day to see how long it lasts. Because let's face it, I've tried non gel peel off face coat and it literally lasts as one day. By the time it's nighttime, it's all peeled off. I'm going to be doing my manicure tonight, but the plan for the day is to make some coffee. Yep. I've been really liking the mocha ground coffee from Walmart. I don't drink coffee like every day. I just drink it twice a week just because, you know, I gotta be careful with caffeine. I already have a lot of energy, so when I drink coffee, I have a lot of energy. Put like a scoop in like a... But other than having coffee, I'm super excited because we're going to be cleaning today. So me and my sister start the seeds in the house. After we kind of get them started in the house when they're like a little green, then we put them outside after they grow up. But yeah, so here's one. This one's going to be full of vegetables such as cucumbers, carrots, onions, cantaloupe. This one's going to have watermelon, tomatoes, and the non -ha. And the third one's going to be flowers such as like sunflowers. I can't remember the other one. Got to get some half and half in there. It's kind of a cool effect. Look at that. So that's what's happening today. Very excited about the planning and also later after dark when we do this peel off manicure. How long will it last? You know what time it is, manicure time, before I go to bed. And I gotta scrunch down to get in the frame because I'm trying to show my desk. So no, I don't live like this all the time with my back on. First thing I'm gonna do is use some full cross cuticle remover. Remove my cuticles, wash with vinegar. Mm -hmm. Nail sent me this box and it has peel off base coat in it. Remover, the matte top coat. Seven, gel polish. We're gonna use the matte top coat. So it's gonna be matte top coat manicure. Swinging and sun. It's a beautiful light chocolatey brown, opaque in two coats. And then there's Pink Panther, a warm tone brown that's absolutely just, oh my goodness, it's so pretty, opaque in two coats. This is electric green, it's a beautiful cream green and it's so beautiful. All the ones in this collection are creams. Next is electric red and it's a red cream that's opaque in two coats and I'm telling you right now, this had neon colors underneath it and it's absolutely beautiful. Actually, I own this one and it's one of my favorite gel polishes that I own. Next one is electric yellow and it is opaque in two coats and it is a neon yellow and it's the most neon polish I've ever seen in my life. When I put it under the lamp it looks amazing. Next is best of summer and it's a beautiful fuchsia purple. Last gel polish is this happy birthday one and it is opaque in two coats and it's just a beautiful turquoise cream. I actually own this one too and I love it. Just did a manicure with it. Boom. I think I'm just gonna paint my nails and do a pink panther warm tone brown manicure. That's what I'm feeling right now. I'm grabbing the peel off base coat, I'm gonna paint it on my nails, and then I'm gonna cure it in my this McCart lamp. I got it on a Black Friday deal. It has auto sense of your hand. Cure this gel base coat for 60 seconds. I'm gonna paint two coats of Pink Panther. Here's Pink Panther. Before I put the matte top coat on, I did three thinner coats as opposed to two thicker coats. But now let's add some matte top coat. I'm really digging this color. I don't think I have a polish like it. We've had a very productive day. Now I gotta go to bed because I'm super tired. Good night. Ay, good morning. One of the things that I have to do is wash my hair. And so that's gonna be kind of a tough thing on peel off. Because if I was wearing normal peel off that wasn't gel, oh my goodness. It would immediately peel off when I was be washing my hair. All right, I just got done washing my hair. I mean, the results are in. My right hand is unscathed, which means none of it peeled off. My left hand is pretty much unscathed, except for underneath, where, as you can see, I capped my free edge, because I always cap my free edge. Peeled off a little bit right there on my middle. But other than that, I think it's going to be okay. I mean, if it's not fine, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I think that's pretty good. I mean, I have a lot of hair to wash. All right, I'm going to go finish with my hair now. Morning. Yes, I gotta film. Well, first I gotta take care of the animals and do my chores within that. Then I'm gonna go and get some nail supplies such as nail polish remover, acetone, cotton balls. I have to film a little bit for another video of mine. So yeah, I got a lot to do. So let's go get it done. Come on guys, let's go. Are you coming?
in Dollar Tree and gotta get some nail polish remover. I think I'll buy acetone at Walmart. Pretty sure nail polish remover and stuff like that is cheaper at Walmart, but I just really like strength selling purple nail polish remover from Dollar Tree. So let's get it ready. Alrighty. Ooh, what's this? This is where I got my paint palette in the crafts section. Love my paint palette. All right, I'm in Walmart, and we gotta get some 100% acetone up here. Just down here. Where is it? Here it is. See, it's only 96 cents here. I need my 100% acetone because I gotta remove gel polish with this. It's at the end of the day. I am so tired and ready to go to bed. But let's do an update on how the nails are looking. All right, here's my right hand, as you can see, still matte. And they have not peeled up at all, except for my middle finger here. You can see the free edge kind of peeled up a little bit. We'll have to wait and see if that plays a factor in these lasting any longer. Here's my left hand. Like I said, it peeled off a little bit of my free edge on my middle finger, but my nails are pretty much on skin. And I've done a lot in the last two days. Done some spring cleaning, which means washing stuff. Done a little bit of yard work. I've done our animal doors. To say something real quick, I had my first bug cake today. My sister was so kind and made it for me and oh my goodness, it was so good. She did a great job making it. It's like when you put like ingredients in this bug and then you cook it in the microwave and somehow it comes out and it's a cake. Now let's go into Tuesday. Yes, this is, I'm gonna go to bed. I didn't even have here and I have no idea what I just said. Yes, this is, I'm gonna go to bed. Like 10 times and I cannot figure out what I said. It's like, this is where I'm gonna go to bed. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna go to bed. I have no idea why I said that. I must have been very tired that night. Worked outside today and then I came in and washed it. And after that it had it and it peeled off. We had a casualty. My index finger peeled off, but not the underside. Isn't that funny? I'm not surprised that my index finger on my left hand was the first to peel off. Hold on, I gotta take out this retainer. All the people who've had braces out there, they get it. They I got spit everywhere. Because some weeks ago, some time ago, I don't remember how long ago it was. Fairly recent, maybe last week, the week before, I don't know. Was getting out of the cola. Let me grab my bag from my closet. Kind of got caught and it got bent in this little, little, uh, what do you call this little class thingy? I don't know how it happened. It literally happened in a split second. I thought for sure that my nail was broke. I was very surprised that it was not broke. But ever since then, this nail has been kind of weak. And products don't really like to adhere to kind of weak, brittle nail. So I'm not surprised that this one was the first one to peel. Yeah, that's my first nail to peel. I got some other stuff done today. It was very cold and rainy. I don't know, it's not warm outside. It's spring, but it's not actually spring. It's still cold here. So I'll have to see if any of my other nails peel off because I was working outside and then I wash up and stuff like that. But I've been wearing my rubber gloves if I wash dishes or anything. I haven't been doing that. I don't know, it's gonna be exciting to see if any more of my nails peel off tomorrow. I guess we're just gonna have to go to bed and go to two tomorrow. Good morning. It's kind of hard to start talking when I want to get up because I'm not even awake. Now it's Wednesday and none of them have peeled. And only one of them is peeled off. I don't know, they all kind of feel still in here, you know. Probably won't be long. I wish you could smell this right now because it smells so good. Morning seeds. Are you plants yet? Paw print right there. I wonder who did that. Update time. Nails and they haven't came off. I just put a nice clear protector on this nail just because I don't want it bare. Because when I wash my hands and stuff, I don't want the soap to dry out my nail. Of course, that would be brittle and make it break. I put that same clear protector because I felt like it was kind of bare underneath my nail. So I did that today, but uh, other than that, my nail's looking good. Last vlog, we organized this nail polish shelf and tower. But on Monday, I got this new UN color in a 7 for purple. Well, I haven't swatched it yet, but I'm gonna put it on here because as you can see we put the blues in purple So I think I'm gonna take this one this one Put this one in its place. I kind of like how that looks Coming over to my tower. I think I'm gonna put this nice blue right here next to the silver one. Of course took care of the animals did that kind of chore and then we got to work in the garden. Me and my sister planted the seeds in here just so they could get started. And once they get started, they have to go on the garden that's outside. But before we do that, we usually prep the garden and get it ready to be planted. But we haven't been able to do that just because it's been so cold and rainy and even kind of snowy. Not working in garden weather. But today it was still a little windy, kind of cold, but we got to work in the garden for the first time this year. The thing that I worked on is over here. Went outside and looked in the barn for different kinds of wood and stuff because I want to put up some more shelves in my room. Also, I bought these shelf brackets 
starts off with Amazon, some shelves. So I'm gonna need more, but this is what I have to start with. And I have this white board that I'm gonna paint pink to match my pink trim in my room. And then I got this board. Okay. I not look like much, but I think I'm going to cut it so it'll fit up here. And then I got another one out of our barn. These are actually just leftover wood from doing other projects in my room. This one, as you can see, is a little shorter. But I feel like I can go above my nail polish desk. Go, I can sand it, and I can put it up above there. I'm sorry, it's very hard for me to hold it up there right now, but up above my cat. My cat? Why is my cat light plugged in? Hold on. There we go. Up above there. Then I want to take this slightly bigger board and put it on the filming wall, but up above across here. Here are my nails and it is Thursday and I got nine nails here which <laughs> we all know this right here peeled so I went ahead and painted that UN color that I got at Dollar Tree. I just wanted to swatch it on here and it is beautiful. Clear purple with a strong shimmer of purple and pink. It's but other than this nail peeling my nails have done really well. Almost made it to a week. So other than doing just normal animal chores, and today is I worked with my sister on a show that we're PV Vault Studios YouTube channel. It's run by me and my sister. It's kind of like a cartoon show, and we're almost done with one of the episodes, and I'm so excited. She draws it. It's kind of like 2D, a little bit of animation, picture animation, and it's so fun to do. And me and my sister write the story, then she draws it out, then we kind of, she pretty much colors it, but maybe I color a little bit. What is that saying? And we worked on a lot of that. It was a better idea to do more work inside than outside today. So I'm just praying for warm weather. Please come warm weather. Now, before I go to bed, I just wanted to quick show you something. It's kind of a little bit of a thing that I love, which is light. All kind of light. I get them at Dollar Tree. I get them on Amazon. And I want to show you my collection of light. So I want to use this as video evidence as probably be getting more light in the future because I love putting lights up in my room. And I want to be like, look back and be like, oh, remember that vlog where I had this many lights? Well, look, I got more now. You've probably seen it before, but I have my pink neon cat light. I have my pink with white string filming light, which are on this wall. They go like this, to this, down, to my window. I have my silicone kitty lamp over here that can have many different modes. Do you remember when I first got the kitty lamp? And I have a rechargeable candle for Jesus. I actually have a couple of these. I have this battery operated candle. I don't have batteries for it right now, so it's not neat. Up above my pillows here, I have my Dollar Tree like jewel lights that go in a string here. Bunny clock that ears light up. And up above that shelf, I have some more Dollar Tree crystal lights. And then I have this horse one that I got from Dollar Tree that lights up. Then over here, I got the lighthouse light from Dollar Tree. Then I have my mermaid Dollar Tree light that I painted. And then down here, my two cloud lights. All together, I think it looks really nice. Now that I've shown you my collection of lights, it is time to go to bed and see what Friday holds for us. And it is Friday night. I got a little bit of tip wear, but I gotta say they haven't peeled off and I still have my little swatch of the NU color on right here. Here's my right hand, none of them have peeled off. I got some tip wear, but they haven't peeled off. I'm in the middle of editing my Send a Trend song right here. Let me show you a little This is what I've been working on. Because today, I'm not even kidding snow. Yep, April, snowing, what? It will be exactly a week tomorrow night from when I did this Nails Attic Gel manicure. Will more pop off? Will I even have a manicure tomorrow night? I guess we're just gonna go on to Saturday. Find out. Let go. Good morning. I can't believe tonight will already been a week since we did this. So why don't we let the light shine? Look at that, it's sunny out. I know you can't see because it's just way too bright, but it's sunny. All right, update on the plant. Look, look, we got little sprouts are coming up over here as well. Oh my goodness, look at these. I know what these are, they're peas, but look at them, they're so big. We just needed it to be sunny today. Huh. Isn't that amazing that you can put a seed in the ground and it can grow a plant and you can eat from that plant? Isn't that just amazing? God's amazing when he made all this and, and gave it to us humans. They look like they need water. Give them all some water. 
All right, it is Saturday night. It is exactly one week since we did our peel off manicure and my thumb peeled off today, my left hand. But other than my thumb and my index finger right here, none of my other nails have peeled off. I got some tip wear, but uh, they're still on. As for the matte top coat, my nails are just kind of satiny. They're not probably as matte as when I first put on the matte top coat, but you know, I've moisturized my nails a lot during this whole week. You can see by my cuticles, look, I have one week of nail growth too. <laughs> Well, there we have it, everybody. I have eight out of the 10 nails that I painted last week. And I gotta say, that's good for me. I basically do my nails once a week. And sometimes gel polish can be a hassle, but this product is gonna make it way easier. So I'm definitely gonna keep using We had so much fun this week. We planted seeds, and now they're already up. Please let me know down below if you've ever tried gel peel off base coat. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys had fun, I sure did. And we both learned something about peel off base coat. And if you want an easy guide to everyday nail care, click ready. Thank you.